Alexa on Vengeful Spirit. This hero we haven't seen much being played. Kind of awkward state, I would say, where it doesn't... Like, maybe as a core, you would manage to get that Aghanim Scepter. And Boxy dies. Yeah, kind of expected, but Nine got a couple of good, really, CS on that mid lane. Missing 200 mana. Again, Fortune's in with the Blood Grenade and the Blood Right on a 33. That Ice Armor. Ooh, and they're going to get that kill. No, it's not going to be enough because they've got themselves the level two of the Purifying Flames, and that's exactly what you're looking for. So use Purifying Flames and survive. Magic Missile Sox is it. really looking to get this kill, and he'll finally take out Insania, but lose his life to Mickey, who gets a double kill at the end of the day. Has even more gold than Doom with Octarine Core, which is pretty impressive. Going into Banta style, of course, Spark of Courage does help out tremendously. And now they're going in, on they the found Zai. the target. Zai yeah. looks very dead here. And it's just gold to get, and you look, it's 17 and a half minutes into the game, Medusa's already at a five-digit net worth, and so is this Doom in a second. Because Bloodseeker as a hero, he can't really deal with Medusa, at least not early on. Mickey, getting Doom. Yeah, yeah, getting Doom. They were also setting up on the OG, they threw the track that way, and you're looking to get some more tracks out as you look at the rest of these heroes, but the right clicks from Nisha on a Soxa. They pop the drums from Snake King. They've got the Whirling Dip. They get the kill on Nisha. Now they're going to look towards the rest. The Doom's about to run out on this Bloodseeker. But track purged off. Fortune's in. Now the Rupture. It's nine okay, getting a hit with a lot of damage and the Skewer to get the kill there on a nine. Five times three going to Mickey as they're trying to fight with the Medusa. They go into the RP that lands on the Doom as well as the Medusa. They've got the false promise on a Mickey. Skidder trying to survive with the little mana that he's got. Mickey going over and getting the kill on a 33. They'll take up the Doom, and this is going well for the side of Liquid as they bought back on Nisha. They throw down the Meteor Hammer. They've got the Medusa out of mana and out of life. The Sanity's Eclipse. Down goes Soxa. And see, it finally falls to Snake King, but this is such a good fight for Liquid. And they found themselves. The Bounty Hunter might even be a full team wipe here. Nisha trying to catch up. Maelstrom Prox going through that evasion, so at least that's something. Right. Soxa. Socks in trouble. Boxy trying to get this kill. Will do so or he dies as Skitter gets the trade on that one. Your illusion comes back. Okay. He's going for Snake. Rupture and dust. There's your, yeah, there's really nowhere for him to go. But now they found themselves the Medusa off by himself and to the side with the BKB being popped by Mickey. They get the kill on a Socks of the Oak over at 33. Boxy low. But a little bit of the burning barrage damage coming through on a 33 as he runs with BKB of his own. Link in from nine on a Mickey. They've got the Chakram, but the Astron Prismid's going to be through onto the Medusa. Meteor Hammer to follow it up. So I now does have a Blink Dagger as well. Let's see if he can reposition someone. Saksa caught a glimpse. like that person. You don't need to Blink, though, when you've got that Harpoon. Ogre Seal Totem will get some distance, but not enough distance. Tier 2 mid looking like this might just fall if Tundra aren't going to react to it. And it doesn't look like they are just yet. They have Sneaking coming over, and now they're going to have 33, blink into the immediate doom. They go in for Insania to make sure he can't get the False Promise, but he gets it off before he dies. So, now with no heal, can they get the False Promise over the edge? Right now they have Stone Gaze used by Skitter. They go to the Astro Imprisonment. Isha running backwards, skewer away from Zai. They still get the kill on the Mickey. They're going to focus their attention onto the Magnus. And with the track, they see him. They've got him. They'll kill him. And three heroes will die on the side of Team Liquid. 33 this time around finds good Doom opportunity. Goes on Mickey this time around. He does not have Aegis available. What? Team Liquid wants to still go for something. Meteor Hammer. And Sanities. But now you've got the Shadow Walk, the Stun, and the Lockdown to get the kill on Anisha. They got that all together. And then Bounty Hunters got the Ogre Seal Totem to close the gap on Boxy. That's a full team wipe at the end of the day. And That's they still massive. want they're more. Kill him one they, more time. they want Insania, and they're going to find him. They've got track again. They'll get another. Look at the net worth. He just jumped to 16, 17,000 yeah, gold. DI pretty much. Now they need more Lincoln Spheres. I see three queued up on Team Liquid. Just is there a Insania? He is frontlining. Doom on himself. He's going to jump in. He's going for the Magnus. He wants to make sure there's no RP. They already got the kill on Insania. He's going to buy back. Wants to be able to provide that false promise, but the Doom's still coming Magnus in. They get the kill on a Mickey, and now they'll look over at this Zy Magnus. Three heroes dead so far. Ogre Seal Totem looking for something else. 
Is this where you, oh, he's, he's going Ags. I was going to say, is this where you buy like the refresher on Magda so you can RP skewer the harpoon, refresh harpoon, skewer RP. But Ags is the next item on the menu. Got the swap and Boxy in trouble. He'll Yules himself. There's the AOE Doom. They've got the skewer back, but it's going to be on top of these heroes now. And they can't get anything really other than just the kill on a sock. So they end up losing Boxy. Down goes Insania, Zai, and Nisha. Skitter with so much damage as they're breaking through this base and looking at the tier fours. They call GG on the side of Team Liquid. So Tundra taking game one and honestly start to finish.